Yep, mint secured. It's a it's a one dollar coin, gold coin. Look at that, Louis Vuitton wallet. A dollar? Yep, one dollar. Another gold coin. Look at that. I found money. I found money in the trash. Look at that. Another gold coin. My goodness. Good way to start off the day. Let's see. I'll put this stuff in here. It's kind of lightweight. What are these? I don't know what these are. I always see these around, but I never pick them up. Yeah. There's some bug spray in it. Put it back there. Boxing gloves. Random stuff. Boxing glove. I'll just take this little box. for a dog. boxes I'm not sure what's in here but I'm gonna take them anyways <laughs> Mm. 
little chairs. They just need the cushions. Let's see if we can make these work. One more, one more round. What we got over here? Some clothes. Kind of liking this big old lamp though. Look at this. Let's see if it works. Hope it, hope it works. LED light. Someone will still buy them though. I think someone might throw a couple bucks at these. All right. Many times I won't pick up stuff like this because I don't know if they work, but they got free signs on them. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and say that they work because uh, otherwise I don't think they'd put a free sign on these things. And those are uh, those are adjustable uh, mattress uh, bed frames, adjustable bed frames. So I'm here at a stop sign. I'm going to scoop these on up. I usually don't pick up wreaths, but this is. This looks pretty nice. Mm. It's a decent pair of boots. Those are old enough to be. Grass. Bunch of chairs. Like someone's been here already. A little bit of surface rust, but not too bad. Right. Looks like there's a lot of stuff here. And I might be here a while. <clears throat> I'm 
we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of bags. You can already see signs that someone's been here already. With, you know, the bag being torn open right here, and it is. in there that I might be able to use or keep or so. So I'll just take this whole bag. Man that bag was heavy. Let's see. What the heck is this? Hard to see in there for y'all, but nothing in here. No, I don't pick up TVs, unfortunately. All right. Thank well, you, though. Thanks, ma'am. You too. shoes so it feels like movies Interesting. Let's see, this is trash. That's trash. All right. Yeah. Bunch of food in that one. box a little bag this one feels interesting as well I'll tell you what guys I've been seeing a lot of people out here tonight oh yeah this bag also yeah I've been seeing a lot of people out tonight um, at least three of the pickers so that's a good thing 
that means you know stuff's getting picked up. Um, looks like they haven't made it over here to this side though, because there's a lot of good stuff over here. This one feels like it might be good. Look at the top on this one. I'll tie it back up. You know what? This is one of them bathroom bags. So, yeah. Y'all know my infatuation with the bathroom bags. That part of the video, but look at this. That's kind of cool. We'll throw this in the back of our truck here. Four. I'm grabbing them all though. Yeah, I'll figure out later. Yeah, so that other place was already, it didn't have a lot of good stuff there left anymore, so. empty. That feels like regular trash. There's a drill here. I'm guessing that they bought a bunch of new ones. Yeah, all this is recycling. Okay, so we're back home um, and I've stayed out a lot later than I expected to be honest but tis the life let's take a quick look you know so we got about three or four pretty good bags to go through nice lamp here don't know what this is I think this is for a table no this is just to like adjust it I think I mean, I don't know, but looks like we got a bunch of stuff. I'm interested in that Tony Hawk skateboard. I'm wondering now. This is Tony Hawk Signature Series. I'll have to see if that's worth anything. And then, of course, we got all the stuff back over here. So, yep, we'll see you guys in the morning.
All right, so it's time to do the giveaway for the coach purse and the ring and necklace set. So here is, excuse the shadow, the necklace, the ring, and the nice little purse. So here we go. Always like doing this live, so there's no question. We're going to go to get the shareable link, which is a link to this video. Go to the randomized selector. Gonna paste this video here. We're gonna filter keyword. And keyword was I love you. Whoop whoop, let's spell it right. Allow duplicates. All right, here we go, guys. Five hundred and five comments. All right, here we go. Pick the winner. And the winner is Tiffany. I don't know how to say your last name, Tiffany, but I recognize your thumbnail and I'm glad you won. Congratulations. I will be leaving a comment on this comment of yours here and uh, get this sent out with instructions and getting your stuff. Congratulations, Tiffany. All right, guys, so we're back at storage unit and um, I left my camera at home. So I am working off of my iPhone. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, might be a little bit difficult to move stuff around. Yes, I know they make the little handheld things, but I don't have one because I have a GoPro with all my setups, but sometimes I'm a big dummy and, <laughs> and I leave my stuff at home. But so I'm gonna do my best to film uh, and hold this camera or hold the phone. So let's get on with it. Found a lot of good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Update on Iris, she is home. She made it home the next day. Uh, that girl's strong, man. She's, uh, she's up and moving around within the first 24 hours. Uh, she still takes it easy. Uh, she does some walk around in the backyard. Um, she'll go around the house sometimes. Uh, we're cooking for her and, you know, clean up and doing stuff like that. She, so she's still relaxing, but she's doing really, really good. So thanks for everybody who's been praying for her. I really do appreciate it. Uh, prayer is power and I appreciate you guys doing that for us. So let's get on with the show. All right, going to do a quick overview, guys. We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, filled up the truck. I'm sorry, filled up the trailer. Filled up the trailer. Got some stuff over here. Um... Let me start off with this stuff over here because there's some cool stuff in here that we picked up. There were some boxes. Some of the boxes are in here, some over there. So we're just going to start here just because there's no rhyme or reason to it. Little woven basket. I could take that to the booth, put it there. That'll sell pretty easily. We've got, what are these candles? They're seeds? I don't know what they are. Well, we'll take a look at this, see what this is. I'm not sure. Got a Starbucks gift card. Uh oh, all right. We'll have to uh, look into that. Got the hand sanitizer. We got, let's see, some charging stuff. Oh, this is a good little, little thing here. Got a an iPhone charger. This is a good one. Got some headphones iphone headphones so obviously there was an ipad in here at one time they took the ipad out oh my goodness look at all these gift cards all right so we got all these gift cards to starbucks i don't know that they're full or not we'll have to go through them we'll see um personal stuff we got some earrings and these are matching sets so we got these earrings here Put those to the side. We'll get the gift cards. I got a sus suspicion that these gift cards are not in here, but we'll go through them. Let's see. I'll take this out and I'll use this for myself here. All right. iPad case, this is really worn down. I'll keep this, we'll keep this. And the rest of this stuff will probably be in the trash. I'll leave, probably keep the little basket. The little basket's good. Alrighty, so 
Let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, uh, what is it, like a little multi-tool? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Got a little screwdriver along with a couple of Allen wrenches here. Same thing, some Allen wrenches. Some, uh, oh, this is pretty good. You use this for 15, 13, 10 millimeter uh, sockets. I, I wonder if this is for a bike. I bet you this is like a little toolkit for a bike. So we'll keep that in here. You know, I, I saw this stuff yesterday. I don't know what it is. Does anybody else know what this is? I'm about to get used to. Uh... Okay, there we go. Zoomed out. There we go. I don't know, guys. It looks like some kind of. If I were to guess, it might be something for like uh, like your Wi-Fi signal, maybe to repeat it or something. But I'm not 100% sure. It hangs up on the wall. So I'm about to do some research. If you guys know what this is by looking at it, please leave a comment because I'm not sure. A little small flower pot. That's cute. Whoa, look at that. All right. So we got a bunch of coins in here. Nice. Some quarters, a bunch of nickels and pennies. Dude, why'd they throw that away? All right, well, we got a bunch of coins. That's always nice. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to announce the contest yet, but as I'm picking and I'm finding coins, I'm going to fill this guy up. And then once I fill it up, don't guess now because this is not the contest. The contest, I'll announce it. You know, you guys have to just keep up with the videos. I know y'all do anyways. Once we get closer to filling it up, I'll count it, and whoever gets the closest to it wins all the money. So, y'all stay tuned for that. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to fill it up, but as I get coins in the trash, I'm going to put them in here. That's going to that's gonna be cool. That's a nice little some sandpaper. And that's it for here. Let's see. What are these, guys? They're called... Shogun Sports, they're like little pads. I'm not sure what they're for. Some kind of pa pads for something. Got this nice snake pit hat. Got a Callaway golf hat, that's a nice one. Stocking, looks like some, maybe some thank you cards. I'll probably keep those for me. Got a bunch of markers and pins. Oh, look at that. We got some jewelry. Well, this is a telltale sign right here, guys. This is a magnet and all this jewelry sticking to it, so it's not gold. I'll put this to the side and I'll do this later. And I'll let y'all know. Is that Kendra Scott? It's like a little stone in here. Oh, huh, I'm interested. That might that might be gold. Alright. Not bad. Look at these earrings. Wow, these are nice. Wow. I like those. All right, here's some jewelry. I mean, some uh, some change. Gonna start adding it to the cup. Ooh-wee. Y'all ready to win some, some money? These things add up. These little coin things, they add up. But you start, you know, pin. little quartz crystals some people believe these uh offer you know will calm you or give you peace or do stuff like that i don't know markers markers looks like it's paint look at that some more earrings this these say forever 21 and uh they're not gold but some more nice earrings there. For your charger, for your car. Got some black earrings here. Is the other one in here anywhere? I can see another one. I'll keep it out anyways. I'll put it. I got a bunch of other jewelry that's uh, mismatched. So that's. Uh, looks like information in here. 
no gift cards, no business cards, insurance card, Top Golf. Is that a gift card? No, membership card. All right, so we got all this stuff in this bag. Let me see. We got this little box. Oh, yeah. See, there was some workout stuff. They had this hand wraps. I saw these little cookbooks. Cookbooks can sometimes sell in the booth. Especially the old ones. Infinity. Infinity video. Okay. Gliding exercise discs. Those are brand new. Got some. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's Forever 21 also. Well, that's a cute little necklace. Forever 21. A little turquoise. I'm not sure if it's real or not, but. What does this say? Laugh. That's something that can go to the booth. Got these little arrows. Well, decor. Um, probably not going to use a lot in here. Essential oils. Mm. Deep blue rub. I don't know. Vaseline. Tommy Hilfiger, some perfume is it's empty. Got some good girl perfume. Um well, bottle opener. That's really it over here. Oh well got the Revlon. No, Remington. Oh, I don't know what this is. Curler maybe? Alright, so that's that little box got it going on let's get this down so it doesn't fall off let's see oh this is nice here it's kind of stained at the bottom which is why they threw it out but oh, it's made out of wood or like particle board so you could probably paint over it if you wanted to just touch up the J I mean the the bottom there it's kind of nice here's one of the punching gloves those multiple punching gloves. I'll have to go find them. There's the tops to those little vases that I found. Let's see. Got some home flea and tick spray. Vapor shower. Oh, this is cool. Lotion. Some, uh, Remington, like a flat iron. Put that over here with the other one. Excuse my toes. That is the shampoo, but it's empty. More shampoo or conditioner, but it's almost empty. Uh, dog stuff. So I'll probably just keep this. And the f this one looks like it's brand new. And this would be my little trash bin. Here. All right. And these go, I don't know where they're at, but got a couple of... Uh, Storage unit's getting empty. That's all the stuff from last week. Oh, it's never ending. It's like you fill it up and then you empty it out. You fill it up and you empty it out. Okay, let's see what we got. And this one here, there's another box. I'm doing the boxes because these are the easy ones to go through right now. Oh yeah, so here's one of the vases. See that? It's chipped here and there. Like, see, this one's chipped here at the bottom. But it looks like they try to repaint it. But I don't think it looks too bad. You know? I think someone will give me a few bucks for that one. Let me get the other one while I'm over here. Yeah, see, this one's broke right there. So, but these are nice. Once you put the top on, you really can't tell. So, as long as you disclose to the buyer, you know, in your ad that these are broken. Oh, yeah, see, just put that in the corner. Lovely vases. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it moving. Right, let's get this box out of here. Put it over here so I can work. Let's see. One of these roller things, I think it's like for your back.
uh, another quarter. Another quarter added to the little box there. This looks like it's nothing. What do we have in here? Some sand. Some, this one's almost empty. I'm not gonna mess with that. This is fabric freshener. I'm gonna keep that in here. Sand, a little vase. A little chip, top golf. Penny, penny for your thoughts. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think I already checked this one. Yeah, there was nothing in here. But I'll keep the box in case I find something. And excuse my angles, guys. I'm trying to look at the same time as film. This is an old headphones. What is this? Some kind of pin for something. All right, this looks like it's all junk. I don't think I'll be keeping anything in here. All righty. What else we got? Oh yeah, this box as well. Moving right along. We got this little guy here. Had a bunch of like different mugs. So this is Starbucks. I saw this one with Starbucks and I think these sell pretty good. I might get ours to list them. Threshold it says King. Threshold says letter S. A little B. This one's cute. It says Disney. Yep, genuine Disney. A little Dory. That's cute there. Um, don't know. Starbucks. California. And Ellen DeGeneres show. All right, that's cool. Someone's been to see Ellen DeGeneres. We'll go through that. So got this little penguin. I don't know what he does. Oh, he's missing a leg. Is he supposed to be like that? A legless penguin? I don't know. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's unique. I don't know what I would do with that, but so here's one boxing glove. These boxing gloves sell pretty good, to be honest with you. Here's the other white one, I think. Yeah, see, here's the other white one that's like this in here. See, these are set here. So that's a set. DY planter. That's a nice little planter there. Keep that in the box in here. Coconut oil. There's all the little discs for rain poncho I don't know if the Seahawks are doing very well right now or not this card some pins this is, oh oh that's cool look at that it's kind of hard to tell what it's doing but it changes colors I don't know if it's like a speaker or just a little light but probably hold on to that one there some more matte pencils looks like it's trash these cables don't look like it's anything i'll keep this little extension cord can never have too many of them all right let me get all the uh little connect four things and put them in here all right, moving on with this next box. And these shoes do not go with this box. That was a different find. Okay, so here's the other punching glove or boxing glove. So you got the complete sets there. Got these little things that kids use to, I guess, de-stress or something. Call me upon 
the water. It's coming out and coming out. All right, cool. Oh, that's nice. So here's a bunch of pictures of the people. Got some more headphones here. These headphones look old. That's a cool little skeleton. You know, chilling, meditating. All right. Starbucks. This nice little bag here. It says dice. Oh, this is for yard Yahtzee. There's no big dice in here. Oh, it looks like it's all closed right here. Top Golf. I guess she worked at Top Golf. This girl. Oh, this. Look at that. Little speaker. All right. That's a good little find. Another little planter thing. I don't know what the heck this is. It's like a dog bone or something. So that Connect Four wasn't complete. So I'm not gonna mess with that. Those games don't get you a lot of money anyways. I know. Y'all gonna say you should donate it, but these places, man, they got like they get donated a lot of stuff like that. Incomplete games. No one no one plays with them, you know? No one plays with them. So I'm not really worried about it. Some top golf shirts. I wonder if I could sell these. I'm gonna try. Maybe someone who works there like needs them and Let's see, is this Top Golf also? No one's not. Alright, so there really wasn't anything in here. Unfortunately. So let's get on to the next little section. Alright, moving on to some of the bigger stuff here before I get some of these other bags. First you got that real nice lamp. Uh, now this little thing right here is kind of bent. But as you can see, it works. So I'll just have to, you know, kind of bend it back into shape. That's a pretty lamp. I mean, it's it looks you know, it looks like it costs a lot of money. I don't know. It could be I could be could be wrong, but it looks good. It's put it nice against the wall in the corner somewhere, and it lights up, you know, the top up here. And of course, you got this fan here. And let's give this guy. There you go. Works good. Oh yeah, it works real good. So it does have. Oh yeah, one. Well, that's high. Wow, that's looking as nice. All right, there we go. So it works. That's a good thing. Let's see here. We had some fishing tackle. Let's see if there's anything in here. Let's see, I'll put this right here. I mean, it feels full, to be honest with you. All right. So let's, let's go outside. It's kind of hard to see in here. Sorry for all the back and forth. We're going to put it right here. Hold it like that. So in here, got some, some, some little minnows. The toolbox, I mean, the, the tackle box itself is worth getting. A bunch of bobbers. A bunch of worms. A bunch of more worms. Man. This looks like it's ready to go. Some little weights. So I'll probably just sell this whole box as is with everything in it. See if I can get someone to get it from me. So that's a good box. It's a good tackle box. Put that here for now. Well, I'm gonna put it over here, put it away. All right. Let me see. You got this little student desk. It's in decent shape. Just some minor surface rust, nothing major. We'll definitely be able to uh, get that cleaned up. I'll probably just sell it as is. Uh, you got the combat style boots. Um, oh man, you know what? These might be the Reebok. I thought they were steel toe, but they're not. So 
I don't know about those. Guys, this thing. What is it? Is it a base to a table? Or what's what's up with all this hardware? You know, it's like this is. I mean, this is this is not just you know a regular base. Something pretty heavy went on here. You got this huge thing here. Don't know what this is. Y'all let me know in the comments. What is this thing? Then you got the Craftsman. Lift, 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 lift. Ah, uh, this is just a box for like wrenches and stuff like that. But I'll still try to sell it. I'll try to sell it. See what I can do for the gift for this. So let me put some of this stuff out the way and we're gonna start going through some of these bags. There's some interesting things in these bags that I wanna go through. All right, I was filming around through stuff and I remember I had these. These are like these little quick release clamps. You got, oh, let me zoom out, sorry. So you got this one here, 16, no, 18 inch. You got these, I got one, two, 18 inch, maybe more. They got these DeWalt, the DeWalt ones are gonna be expensive. These are 36 inch DeWalt quick release clamps. Looks like they're brand new. And I've got, these are not, these are probably like 24 inch. So I got two 24 inch, two 18 inch, and two 36 inch. I think that's the score. Okay, what I'm gonna do guys, is these bags, I'm just gonna have to wait to go through them tomorrow. You'll see it here coming up soon, but as you see, since it's starting to come down, I'm gonna go do another night of picking, and I really can't do this with one hand. I gotta have my camera. So I'm gonna go through these bags tomorrow. I will finish up with the rest of the stuff over here in just a second, but these bags are gonna have to wait. All right, real quick, got the two um, framed artwork with the flowers on it. Guys, I, I don't like to pick these up because they don't sell. I'll try to put them on Facebook, and if if anything else, I end up just taking them to Forgotten Angels and. Hopefully they sell there if I can't sell them. This beautiful wreath. Um, it looks like there's some wear and tear here like this. But I think if I just kind of like bend it in and kind of, you know, shape it up a little bit, it'll still look nice. So you got that. This here. Got the Tony Hawk Signature Series skateboard. The bottom is eight up, but it's a really cool graphic. We'll see if that's worth anything. All right, so here is the bed frames. I'm not sure what company these are. This down here. By Leget, Leget and Platt, I don't know. Let's see if we can get this off of here. <laughs> I should be trying to do this with one hand, guys. But, let's see, are we stuck? What are we stuck on? Stuck on you. Yes, I'm on my way. Come on, baby. Oh, man, there's something stuck over here. Mm. I don't know what these are stuck on. All right, you know what? Let me get this one down first. All right, you know what? I got to use two hands. All right, so we had to muscle that out of there. Uh, what happened is that chair was stuck underneath it. It was keeping it from wanting to come over, but got everything plugged in. As you can see, that's coming up. So I'm happy about that. See the bottom one. Yep, yeah, it's coming up as well. Boom. Let's try this other one. There we go, baby. There we go. What this one? Yeah, there we go. It's a little rickety. But hey, it works. Now, there was something over here. Oh yeah, okay, so 
what these do now is they actually will hold the mattress in place so i'm gonna take a couple pictures with this and uh get this listed up real fast because again the sun's going down all right so i need to put those two big beds away um get those bags put away there's also those chairs i'll show you guys those tomorrow but video's not over so don't click away i think the coolest stuff is gonna be in them bags so y'all hang tight uh let me go got some picking to do tonight actually so i'm gonna go load this trailer back up and get some more stuff for you guys to look at some more stuff for you guys to enjoy get this stuff put away i'm so glad that those um adjustable mattresses or adjustable frames worked <clears throat> they look to be maybe a queen size you know like two twins or maybe they're maybe they're king i'm not sure no i think they're king when it's two full-size beds or two twins like that two twins make up a king i believe that's what it is so we'll get those listed up i'm not sure how much i'm gonna sell them for they run about fifteen hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars uh by themselves i'm sorry brand new so i might try to get them listed maybe i'll get them listed for two hundred dollars get them sold quick and cheap hopefully two hundred dollars is a good price and i uh, get them moving so stay tuned we're gonna do some more picking tonight you'll see that video next week we'll add some more coins to that little coin jar and get a cool contest going because there's gonna be cash money guys right there uh what i'll probably end up doing is uh cashing them in and then uh maybe doing a gift card or something like that instead of sending the jar of coins because it's gonna cost me a lot of money to send all them coins so be keeping an eye out for that don't guess yet it doesn't matter guessing is not going to win you anything right now we'll go through this rest of the stuff tomorrow all right it's time to get through these boxes let's go ahead and see what we got so we got this cake topper looks like a cake topper little cowboy his and hers thing that that's pretty decent all right so this is the box that had all the tools so, wrenches, yeah, and I'll be honest with you guys, I know some of y'all may, may want to see these tools, but being that this, look at that, it's a little anchor, kind of cool. Being that this is the first bag, I don't want to get my hands completely greasy and they're already getting there. But let me show you guys, just to get an idea. We got clamps, we got, you know, different pliers, wrenches. And we got all sorts of stuff in here. This box, I mean, this bag is full of money. So, some more balls. Some more wrenches. So I'm not gonna go through this whole bag, guys. Um, it's a lot of stuff. We got a bunch of bags to go through over here, and like I said, I don't want to get my hands too greasy uh, at the right off the start. Of, so you guys get the gist of it. Uh, we'll move on to the next box. I'm sorry, the next bag. All right. So looking at this little cake topper, I'm gonna have to throw it away. It's got a bunch of what I call like roach dust on it, man. It's 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 pretty pretty nasty on the inside and uh there's there's no way that i would sell that to somebody to put on their cake so it's got to be trashed unfortunately but the tools are still good the tools can be washed down i'm not going to wash that down i'm not going to sell it to somebody as like it's in good condition okay yeah so this box is one that had oh it's like a little it's a whole kit so this rolls down you got your different pencils um, it looks like it's missing some drawers. Drawers, make a mess before you start. Yeah, more pencils and paint. So we can get that sold. I don't know. Maybe put a couple bucks on there. See if I can sell it on on Facebook Marketplace. I'm trying to utilize this as my trash bag. Okay. Got another box here, probably the same thing. More art supplies. Yeah. This is full of paints and markers and pins and stuff like that. So 
So it's a good little box there. Guys, I'm sorry about all the wind noise. I'm trying to speak up, I'm trying to speak over the wind, but it's just loud. All right, so we got a little fish tank, a sponge, SpongeBob theme. See that there? Keep that aside. What's this? Hiking jacket? Yeah. So we got a North Face hiking jacket that's got a big old rip and a hole in it. So that's going to remain trashed. Um, people that buy these things, I mean, you 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 pack these things up full of stuff. I uh, can't afford to have a big rip in it like that because you got this replica of the Declaration of Independence. I don't know, I'll probably try to sell that. There's a lot of stuff in this bag, but it's all big stuff. Another bag. This one looks like it's pretty rough condition also. Yeah, this is one of these tactical bags. Um, I don't know. It's pretty rough shape. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a too rough shape. This is a tactical bag. It's not going to be good for a kid for school or anything like that. Alright, on to the next bag. Got a little ghost pinata. Okay, this is the one I had. So this is a Star Wars toy. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I was hoping they had some Pokemon cards in here. I see these little, little things here, but I don't think there's any cards in here. So we'll see. <clears throat> they may be in here, just kind of loose. Boy Scouts of America book. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Look at that, guys. A bunch of quarters. There you go. Told you, every now and then you find the quarters like that inside the books. Thinking putty? Oh, that's trash. Got a bunch of Boy Scout patches, but they're newer. I'll hold on to them. I'm not sure if they're worth anything. Oh, Lord. Okay. This might be good stuff here. Look at that. We got this old Buddy L car. That'll go to the booth. Got a little Tonka tractor. Uh, those sell. Got a bunch of Hot Wheel cars in here. Sergeant Smash, um, 1999. I'll see if I can't find anything that's kind of just stands out. This one's from 1974. That's nice little Hot Wheel. Now, if I can find a red line in here, that'd be great. All right, you got another little fighter plane. Good stuff there. Got a TI-84 Plus. Calculator. I was missing a battery, so I'm not going to work now, but I can pretty much guarantee this sucker works. More Hot Wheels. Let's see. PlayStation 3 game. Yep, it's in there. It's in good condition. Hold on to that one. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, not in there. 
We got a empty case there. Look at that. It looks like, well, this is nice actually. This is die cast. It's a heavy one. It's the base is here, but I could take off this base and sell it as is. I think that's Star Wars as well. I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I'm not sure. Hasbro, so I'll keep that to the side. More Hot Wheels. Man. All right, this is what I was hoping for right here. So this guy here is full of Pokemon cards. Look at that. So I don't know nothing about them. I'd have to look these up. These are from 2010, 2011, 2017. They're various ages. So, that's a good find there. We'll put these to the side. Let's see what we get for those. Pokemon sells like crazy. Um, I don't know about the newer stuff, but like the old stuff sells like crazy. So, you guys ever find that later on the house? A little Rubik's sphere. Oh, this thing's full of hot wheels. Boom! Look at that. I found money. I found money in the trash. Found money in the trash. All right. Well, this thing's full of hot wheels down here. That was cool. I'm just going to put them in here. You guys can look at them as I put them in there. It's going to be hard to see. Look at that little train. Old steam locomotive. That's cool. Another little 18 wheeler. Another patch. Let's see if we find the top of that. A little Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper thing. Ray Ban eyeglasses. I know we could donate those. Not a winning ticket. That's a big old iPad. That's crazy. Because the iPad's not broken. It's an older one. Let's see if it powers up. No. Well, life proof. These things work because this sucker's uh, in good condition. I'll open that up and see if I can get this to work. We're finding some good stuff in here, guys. We really are. Let's see. Brought to you by GoPro. Not really. NASA space sticker. Man. Another Hot Wheel. Is this another? Another TI-84 calculator. All right, it's not working. This one has, I need to change out the batteries. The batteries are kind of bad. Hopefully it's still cool. Wallet. Any money in the wallet? Sometimes they put them in these little pockets and they forget about it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope. This one's certified, completely empty. All right. Puzzle. Valve four. Really fix stuff out of here. Some more patches. Some smell good for your car. All right. Everything else in here, from what I could see. Gift card. I'll call that number. There's a bunch of hot wheels. So. Let me empty this thing out and uh, we'll get to the next video because there's a bunch of Hot Wheels and a bunch of like patches and stuff like that. And if I find something that's really cool, like this guy here is a 1977 cop car. If I find anything else that's really cool, I'll show it to you guys. So we filled this tub up, this tub up full, full, full of Hot Wheels. Plus that little guy. Uh, nothing really, really great. Um, there are some older ones in there. Got this thing here to, to work out your grip.
the patches. Some are NASA, some are Boy Scout. We got these dice that are for, um, what's that game called? Magic the Gathering. I'll probably put those dice in here. Dice. We found a bunch of gift cards, guys. We have to go through these. We got this gas gift card, Cinemark gift card, the Subway gift card, Chick fil A gift card. So we'll go through those. Uh, this little Disney pin, Chippendale, and a Stormtrooper. A bunch of little Lego figurines. The Lego people usually sell pretty well. Um, I'll keep those in there as well. I found a Louis Vuitton. Look at that. Louis Vuitton wallet. Of course, this one is not real. This is in bad condition. I don't care how old the Louis Vuitton would get. It would never get this bad if it was real. But I want to show it to you guys anyways. It's cracking. It's peeling. It's coming apart. You can actually see the person's face here on the uh, on the uh, thing. And that's it's it's there's nothing in here. It's just imprinted from his old ID. Uh, what else? Oh, this little guy here. I don't know if you ever seen one of these, but they're kind of cute. You can kind of hold the frog there. Uh, hold on, let me show you. Let me set this up so you get a good look at it. This is for a Nintendo Wii. Hopefully we find a Wii in there. In one of these boxes. So you get this. Oh, it's a little frog. And you go... <laughs> oh boy. Did not expect this rain. This is about to start coming down. Oh, okay, well, let me see what I can do. Uh, let me put this stuff away. That oh, I just found a Nintendo DS. We'll see if it works. And I will get this stuff put away. And maybe I could do some stuff inside. But let me get this stuff put out for now. All right, so I already used this, put it in my truck. Said this is going to go in the trash. Don't trust it for food. Let's go to the next bag. Oh, man. I'll have to use these if I can. Oh, look at this knife. A little buck knife. That's a good little pocket knife right there. A little buck knife. So we'll see. Maybe there's more stuff like that in here. This is going to be hard to go through. There's a lot of junk in here. First aid kit. We'll see if this is salvageable. What do we have in here? Man, these bags, these bags like this are always, you never know. Oh, this is a bunch of bathroom stuff in here. And I don't think I'll be keeping any of this, guys. This looks like it's not any, any good. This will definitely be, be trashed. Let's see what else we have. Well, Someone was collecting a bunch of bottle caps. I don't know what for, but there's a bunch of them down here. Ah, a bunch of bottle caps. What was it with these people? Man. Some more Lego people down here. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna salvage these. These Lego people. Got an old iPhone. I'm sure this still works. It's not cracked. Oh, it's cracked at the bottom, but I bet it still works. Got another phone here. Ooh. This one's all cracked up. I don't know. I might, I might see if I can sell it. I don't, I don't know. Got a space patch. Got some more money here. Dang it, boy. Look at that. Some more money to add to the change jar. And another dime in here. Where am I going to keep the money at? Tell you what. So, here's a change jar. Gonna add some more money to it. Keep this guy filled. We're going to fill it up and give it away. 
that's what we're gonna do here we keep on blessing people and that's i'm blessed beyond means and uh so we're gonna, we're gonna give it back gonna get some blessings back to you guys let's see look at that i wonder if this mint it looks like it's mint yep mint secured it's a it's a one dollar coin gold coin mint mints guys never been used oh r2d2 you see him there this look like this looks like it's from the 70s i'm gonna bet this is the original one hong kong that's good yep 1977 1977 r2d2 look at that guys another mint now is that is that monetary value a dollar yep one dollar another gold coin another hot wheel we'll put the hot wheels over here look at that another gold coin my goodness i'm finding dollars in here guys dollars oh look at that that's cool Craftsman hardware. That's pretty cool right there. Hot, uh, it's a multi-tool. I have to figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. So you got some pliers, you got a hammer, there's knives, sharp, file, screwdriver, all sorts of stuff in here. That's a pretty decent find right there. All right, so let's see what we found. A few more Lego pieces in here, nothing major. I found this neat uh, monster illumination sound and light. I don't think it's complete, but it's got the remote in there. I don't know what it would plug into. Oh, you know what? I thought I, maybe I did see that cable over there. I threw it away. I wasn't sure what the cable's for. I'm going to dig that cable out. There's the rest of that pocket watch. So a couple of cars in there, a buck knife. I found another. One dollar coin. Now, now look, th these are not, you know, 24 karat gold from my understanding, right? But they're they're mint, they're sealed. So will they be worth a little bit more money later on? Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna leave them like that though. Um, I always keep the little Allen wrenches, some more dice for that game, and some more chains added to the jar. That thing's gonna fill up quick, guys. Two more of these a gift card we'll call that number see if it's worth anything oh here's a control i guess i kept it out i think this goes with this yeah it does yeah see that yeah that'll plug in to this so cool that'll work we'll get that see if we can use it and then old bob ross let's get crazy let's get crazy everybody needs a friend look at that that's cool, I like that. So, not a bad little pickup. It's sprinkling on and off, but nothing major, so. All right, who's still with me there? Um, I'm gonna give these shoes to Iris. These are from last week, eight and a half, seven. Some more shoes here, these coaches down here. These are size. I don't know. I'm sure they're marked in here somewhere. I just, I'm just dumb. Okay, size eight and a half. So the coaches are eight and a half. The Nikes are eight and a half. One of them seven. I'm gonna give an Iris list on Mercari. Follow her on Mercari. Her link is always in the description of my videos. It'll say, follow Iris Mercari here. And now, so Converse. These are in excellent condition, actually. We've got some roller blades. Almost impossible to sell because kids nowadays don't go outside. Got a book full of stuff. Got a box with nothing. So we got these Nikes here. These are kind of cool. Let's see, where's the other one? Here's the other Nike. I don't know. We might list these two. These are kind of nice looking. They got, I mean, they're 
they're in good, decent condition. Um, all the shoes that we've sold, I'll, I'll try to clean up. Some Adidas. Let's see. These Adidas are... Uh, I don't know about these. These are kind of worn. They're, they're heavily worn. These are probably going to just get donated. As well as the Vans. They're pretty worn. We got some... Yeah, looks like all this is going to be donation stuff. You got some clothes. Rebuild Houston. I don't know, these clothes stink pretty bad. I don't even know if these are... I'm going to donate them. If anybody wants them, they can buy them. If not, but these clothes stink. So I'm not keeping these. I might keep this box. And everything else is going to be garbage, as they say. That's the fancy way to say garbage, garbage. That was a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys that hang out to the very end. Um, yeah, man, it's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm glad you guys hang out. I'm glad you guys like my videos. Uh, I'm so thankful for you guys, uh, uh, to be honest. Incredibly thankful. Uh, we're up at 46,000 subscribers. That's awesome. So I thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that little button right down the bottom. I think it's the Texan Picker logo. If you just click on it, it'll say subscribe to the channel. Uh, that helps me out tremendously. Um, but mostly, guys, just, just y'all watching helps me out a lot. Um, if you don't subscribe, I guess that's cool. Um, I still love you guys anyways. But uh, for those who are, I love y'all more. But uh, yeah, just watching the video. Share the video, man. Sharing the video helps us YouTubers a lot because um, it lets... Uh, you, you know the algorithm get kind of motivated to to put our video out to more people so do that hit that little share button and you can share it on facebook you can share it um to your family just share it as a text copy the link and just share it as a text to your friends and uh it drives people to the channel so that is very much appreciated what was your favorite find of the night uh y'all let me know in the comments let me know at the bottoms tell me what your favorite find of the night was What'd y'all think about the pick and all? I mean, it was a really good pick. How does this rank amongst the uh, the picks that you've seen in the past? I know y'all like the jewelry. I know you guys like the fancy shoes and purses. Not a whole bunch of that in here, but still a lot of good stuff. So let me know in the comments what y'all think about the video. And um, and I'll do my best to read all. I try to read all of them. Uh, matter of fact, I, I think I do. I think, I, you know, maybe not right away. Sometimes it goes a couple months because YouTube has done something different with their app and uh and how it shows me the comments some i used to be able to just go through them and be like comment after one after the other one all the ones I haven't read but now it like hides some of them i don't know why it hides some of them and um i won't see a comment until two three four months later so if some of y'all have been seeing me like like or respond to your comments from three four months ago um it's not because i'm out, not out there reading them i do it's just that youtube doesn't show them to me for whatever reason but enough of that uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, leave y'all with the prayer. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for the many blessings. Just thank you for bringing my son home. He will be here. By the time you guys watch this, guys, he's home. Um, next video, he won't be in it. But after that, he might be making a guest appearance here and there. Um, but back at it, uh, Lord, just want to thank you for bringing my son home healthy. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, just uh, getting us through as a family for the last uh, few years with our son being out of town, being out of the state, just whatever. Uh, just thank you, Lord, for um, giving us the strength, giving us the patience, guiding him, Father, keeping him safe and keeping him healthy uh, for the most part. Lord, I just want to thank you for uh, getting my wife through this surgery healthy, Father. Uh, thank you for a successful surgery. Thank you for having the doctors there to do a real good job for no complications, Lord. Um, we just we just praise you, Father, for for just your just for your miraculous healing and for your for your wondrous love, Lord, Father. Lord, I just want to thank you um, again just for our health. For being able to come out here and do these videos for coming out here and being able to uh record this stuff and just blessing others just by the video by giving stuff away by selling stuff to people who are less fortunate for a cheaper 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 price and they can get it at the bar brand new um just thank you for that lord i just ask you now father that you put your hands on those who are sick for those who are lonely for those going through depression for those who are just struggling father mentally that you would just put your just your just your compassion your holy spirit to run through their bodies father and that they know that they're not alone the struggles that they face father are no are, are not are not new to you father and that and that the only way 
to get 100% healing and just just to be better all father is through a relationship through with you and with your son Jesus Christ I just ask you Lord that you would just continue to bless those people that are watching this video that you would plant a seed in their heart that this video would plant a seed in their heart father that they would want to get you to know you better that they would want to build a relationship with you father uh, to grow their faith with you stronger wider and better than they've ever imagined father I just thank you for that Lord and it's in Jesus Christ that we pray amen all right guys I do the prayer because I love you guys. I do the prayer because I had a calling that I've got a lot of people that watch my videos. Uh, I'm not preachy. I'm not preaching to you guys. Um, I'm wishing blessings on you. I'm wishing you good health. I'm wishing you restored marriages. I'm wishing you financial power. Um, just all those good things. But I, I wish those things through the power of our Lord. Uh, so I hope you guys Hold on to that message, guys. Uh, hold on to that message and that you guys believe it. Know that God has good things in store for you. And that, um, but yeah, that you're loved. You're not alone. We serve a powerful God. He knows your stripes. He knows your struggles. Leave all, everything on Him. And um, place your worries, your burdens, and everything on Him. Because there's nothing we can do about it anyways. Uh, worrying doesn't do anything for anybody. You can be going through whatever. The worst things in life the worst things possible. Worrying has n will never ever solve a problem. All it does is make things worse. I've seen a lot of cases where people who have cancer, who who live longer, and have, and have beat cancer, and the doctors say, "Well, we don't know what happened," but they'll tell you that you know having a real extremely positive attitude and being up, you know, an upbeat person that just tends to help out somehow. I don't know what it is. What is it with the body but i really think that what you think and what you say really affects on what how, how your body heals if you're a person who's always saying oh i'm always getting the shorter in the stick oh nothing ever goes my way well you know what you're right nothing ever goes your way nothing will go your way because you have an attitude that's not uh that's not a winner's attitude it's not a victorious attitude it's not an attitude of someone who's who's blessed say to yourself every day you know what today's gonna be a good day i am healed by the power of god I am stronger. I am healthier. You know, I do feel better. And I mean, just affirmation, just say those things and speak them out. And those things will come true. I firmly believe it, guys. I firmly believe it. It's easier said than done. Trust me, I know. But I don't know. I'm just telling you guys this because I care about you guys. And, I, and I, you know, you guys add something to my life. Uh, you guys add uh, positivity to me. So I want to try to add that back to yours. So if you, get, if you, if you receive this message, guys, type amen. Uh, um, you know, I really like to leave a positive note especially at the end of the videos for some of you guys are going through a lot of stuff and i read your comments and trust me i do when as, guys as soon as i see your comment saying can you pray for me pray for my daughter pray for my aunt pray for my mom i immediately stop what i'm doing and i lift up a prayer to you guys i promise you i do that every single time whenever i see the comment um so i believe in the power of prayer i do so with that we'll wrap it up guys i'm blabbing on and this video is getting to be really really long so um thanks again Love you guys. Peace, love, and God bless.